Hey, good morning and welcome to the book of Malachi. We're studying here at chapter 2, verses 8 and 9 this morning as we're going through verse by verse. Let's read these two. But you have departed from the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, I also have made you contemptible and base before all the people because you have not kept my ways, but have shown partiality in the law. Remember yesterday morning, and as we've been coming through before this, through the prophet Malachi, God is addressing his people. He's addressing especially some of the priests. This is 400 and some years before Jesus comes. So this is going to be, there's going to be a prophetic void of over 400 years length where there's no prophetic voice uh, coming at all because of the unfaithfulness of God's people at this point in time. But this is a last ditch effort. He's calling them. He's trying to bring them to understand and come back to him. And so he's addressing the priests. He said yesterday morning in verse seven that that the priest should be a source of solid spiritual knowledge, truth for people. Now, how are they doing with that? Well, according to verse 8, they've departed. They're not, they're not delivering truth. They're de delivering uh, nonsense. And you've caused many to stumble at the law. You've corrupted the covenant of Levi. The Lord of hosts, he's, he, he, now he just utterly slams them. You, you have not been faithful. You priests have not been faithful priests. You're causing spiritual damage, he says. You see that? And so he says, I've made you contemptible. I've made you base before all the people because you've not kept my ways, but you've shown partiality in the law. So here's a fundamental piece that they've done. They've been unfaithful. When they've been called to, upon to make judgments, they have been partial. They have not regarded people or treated people fairly or with justice. They have regarded perhaps someone who's rich, maybe somebody who pays a bribe. And you, they said, well, I'll decide in your favor. There's things like that that happen. And in, injustice was happening among God's priests in God's temple. And so he was uh, not pleased, to say the least. So here we have a case where now there's judgment. God is saying, you have departed. You have gone away. You need to come back. You guys are off the track. You're way off the track. You need to come back. And so why would he say this? Well, he would say this, one reason is because he anticipates that some would be willing to return. He wants them back. He's not ready. He's not just there to smash them. He wants them back. He wants people to always to repent and return to him. And so if we come down to us and we need to now come and try to apply this in some way to our experience, have we been faithful? Have we been completely faithful? Maybe we haven't. Maybe we're as guilty as the priests in the time of Malachi. What then? What then are we to do? understand that guilt, acknowledge that guilt, agree with it, and stop being partial. Stop judging unjustly. Stop being people who cause others to stumble spiritually. So here's a demand, a demand for priests. And of course, again, with the priesthood of all believers idea, this is you and me, no matter who you are. You might not be a professional clergy person as I am, but you're still a priest and I'm still a priest, and we are accountable before the King of Heaven. We are to help people keep his ways, keep the ways of Jesus. That is our mission, and God will help us to do it. Let's pray. Dear Father in Heaven, help us to, to draw people toward your kingdom. Help us to help people keep your ways. May we not be unfair with people. May, may we not act in an unjust way. May we not bring confusion where you are bringing spiritual clarity and truth and insight. And you want to do that through us, through our lips, through our writings, through our sayings, through our connections, through the way we interact with people. Lord, as we, as we put our hands, our arms around them and hug them in times of duress and suffering and pain. Lord, help us to be true priests to you. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer, and we ask for your help in this. Help us to come back to you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's what God wants. He wants us to come back. And I know that with his help, we can return to him. God be with you today.